Charges against a man who said he was arrested for videotaping police officers are dropped. This is a follow-up to a story New York One's criminal justice reporter Dean Memminger first brought you over the summer. Jose LaSalle says he was wrongfully arrested twice within 24 hours in August after he recorded NYPD officers carrying out what looked like stop and frisks at a Bronx public housing development. This week, the Bronx district attorney dropped all the charges against LaSalle, including illegal possession of a police radio, and the case is now sealed. LaSalle is the leader of an activist group called Cop Watch Patrol. He and his lawyer defend the act of videotaping police activity. We putting our bodies on the line to the point where we could get arrested, we could get forced charge. Sometimes we could even get assaulted, and, and sometimes, God forbid, something else worse could happen. Unfortunately, this is not an uncommon situation in which individuals who exercise their First Amendment right to videotape encounters involving the police and do not interfere wind up on the other side and being arrested themselves. Can't touch this. Can't touch this.